Hello and welcome to a fishing guide for Final Fantasy XIV. My first one I've made and this one you perhaps heard of elsewhere, but I wanted to cover this as I try to cover a wide array of content on this channel. This is basically how you can make a bit of money from fishing. There are hundreds of ways you can make money from fishing and other activities, but today we're talking about Everdeep Aethersand and its acquisition. You'll need a level 70 fisher class, that's step one. Step two is you will need to have the Othard Folklore book unlocked and used. So let's cover that step two a moment. To get the book of Othard Folklore for Fisher, you will need to fish up or obtain from other means gathering collectibles to turn in for red gathering scripts. There are hundreds of ways to do this, but a method I'll quickly show you is one I decided to just do, and it's fairly painless. So this is to fish at Doma Castle here on the map for collectible samurai fish. You'll need to have the Stonefly Lava Bait to get the most out of these, but you can also use the Midge Lava, which is much cheaper on the market board. But 9 times out of 10, the collectability will not be high enough, and you're better off just you know shelling out, getting a bit of expensive lures, and uh, just making sure you can get enough of these, especially since you'll need so many. To fish collectibles, you need to first press the ability Collect to enable collectibles to be fished. Secondly, you will need to use Patience 2. Once you press this, it will use 560 GP, so you will need to then press a cordial to refill this. Make sure you stock up on cordials before you come and do this stuff. Any fishing or any gathering activity will require them. Next, you simply cast your line. So we're looking for a light tug. A light tug is where the animation of the rod, once a fish is on a line, is very slightly twitching and not a full-on mega tug that pulls your arm out. At this point, we use the ability Precision Hook Set for 85 GP. If done correctly, you should get a Samurai Fish collectible pop-up, and you want to accept this. You get 45 scripts a turn in baseline for these guys at collectability 15, if you fish them using this method. You'll need quite a few of these, so this is where the patience comes in and a lot of time and money. Since the regional folklore book will cost 50 tokens, and one token is 50 red scripts, which, you guessed, is 2,500 red scripts. Like I say, there are much better ways to get red scripts more frequently, but I did this on the side between dungeon runs, so it wasn't too bad, and it's just an option for you to choose. Once you have 50 folklore tokens, go and talk to the Splendors vendor to the right of the collectible appraisers in Ralga's Reach, and buy the Tomb of Ichthyological Folklore, Offard and uh, this is actually at the bottom here of the list. This will unlock a variety of fish that can only be obtained with this book learned. So open your inventory and learn the book by right clicking and pressing use. So now onto the good bit. Now you need to get yourself some stonefly lava, more of them, which are expensive. On my server a stack of 99 will cost you around 600,000 gil. Now if you work that out, it's like 6,000 gil or something per lure, probably closer to 7k, okay? So I need to make sure I make more than 600,000 gil with 99 lures, which as I'll show you, is really not that hard at all. So come over here to the Dawn Throne in the Azim Steppe and repair your stuff. Go to either the floor next to the water source on this map, or here on the big brown bridge thing that's overlooking the water. Make sure your collection ability is turned on so you have the buff, your snagging ability buff is on, and then press Patience 2. Cordial to get some GP back, and then cast your hook. We again are looking for a slight tug, a gentle twerk if you will of the tip of the rod like so. Use the precision hook set button to reel that sucker in. If you see any other kind of tug, it will not be the fish we want. We are looking specifically for a sweat fish. This fish is what all the grind was for, and you'll see it was worth all the AFK time between dungeons fishing. So the sweat fish themselves are pretty useless, but they can be etherically reduced using etherical reduction ability at a chance to turn into Everdeep Aether Sands. They come in normal and high quality variants. It's random which one you will get. It also has a chance to just give you clusters instead, which is the meh point, to be honest. But you will still return the cost of the bait you brought, and more if you do this occasionally when you have GP between dungeon runs, or if you go hardcore on this. 
as each sand on my server goes for about 50 to 55,000 gil a piece. Now, if you work that out, I essentially spend 6k per lure, a 55k return from one of these snagging a sweatfish is easy money and a really decent profit margin. There are obviously hundreds of really good ways to make cash in this game, crack clusters from hunts and selling materia being one of the best, but for sheer investment and a feeling of achieving something personal, I could think of much worse pursuits than fishing. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed this little video on gill making through fishing. If you did, please throw me a like and check out the channel. I do all sorts of Final Fantasy XIV related stuff, and I intend to keep making it daily for you. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.